country, I'm in Nigeria. I came in here in September, and hearing all this is really scary. You understand? I don't want to lose my child. Nobody can train my child. So why do you think they are pretending? Why do you think that they don't genuinely care? They do care about your well-being. Yes, I'm talking about social welfare services. They do genuinely care because I've seen a lot of videos, a lot of content, and some people, especially Africans, are saying that some of these social welfare services um, staffs, that they don't genuinely care. They are just asking us questions upon questions because they want to take away our children. That is not true. Guys, in today's video is going to be a discussion one. I want us to discuss about this trend on social media. I also have a little clip I will attach to this very video so that you understand what I'm talking about. So, if in case you've not seen the video, there's this video on TikTok. The video has been trending. I also came across the video on Facebook where Africans came together. They had a workshop. They said is um let me don't give you the wrong name. They said is UK children welfare system and African family. So it's like a community where Africans they come together in the UK, African parents, and then they talk about the reason why Africans are losing their children to the UK social welfare services. We'll be discussing all that in this very video, and I've highlighted some points here systematically that I want us to touch to talk about. As you are watching this video, please do me a favor. Leave your comments down below on the comment section what you think, whether or not you agree with them or you agree with the other point that I will be analyzing in this video. But before we go further, you know I will do it. If you are meeting me for the first time, you are highly welcome. Please, if you like what I do here, yeah, subscribe to my channel. My name is Joanne Ekeke. Yes, I'm based in England. I talk about life generally in the UK that consigns our Nigerian and African families. So if you want to be part of this family, please hit on the subscribe button. And for my returning subscribers, you guys know that I love you always. Please, thank you very much for always coming back to watch my videos. Yes, guys. So mm, let's dive straight into today's video. You know how we do it. So I came across this video and then a lot of the parents that were talking in this very video that were discussing, they were, you know, trying to express their feelings, how they feel about the UK welfare social services. For example, I saw a lady who was talking about when a woman is pregnant, you go for antenata and then they start asking you, is your husband treating you well? Are you fine? Do you people have any misunderstanding at home? According to her, she said, these people do not genuinely care. That they are asking you all those questions so that they'll come and take you out from your husband's house or they'll come and, you know, try to separate you and your husband to say you are facing domestic violence violence and all that see if you ask me i would say that these people genuinely care because I, myself i've had kids children in this country so i know what they are talking about when i was pregnant i was also asked some of these questions are you comfortable with your your partner are you okay with your husband is your husband supporting you is your, yeah it's no matter to ask because they know that pregnant women are vulnerable yeah Pregnant women are vulnerable and when you are pregnant, different hormones, you know, tend to drag you here, drag you there. Sometimes you get so emotional, sometimes you get um, even traumatized. Little things like this will get you angry. So these women were saying that another thing, they said, when they ask you this question, they are marking it down. And if you said, oh yes, my husband is abusive, my husband is this. They said, when you give birth, they will also ask you, are you able to take care of your child? Do you find it stressful looking after your newborn baby? They, they now said, if you say yes, they will come and carry your baby. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That's not true. That is not true. I remember when I had my kids, yeah. I was really, 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 really traumatized. 
first kid I had twins, yeah, and then I knew nothing about babies. I knew nothing about children. And then I was asked if I would be able to look after them. Yes, of course, fine, but they saw that I was struggling. At some point, they even, you know, decide to send some, um, uh, what was it called? They sent me some EPA, some nurses from the hospital, like ETS, uh, not nurses, pardon me. They sent um, ETS, ETS, ETS visitors, yeah? They were coming, you know, assisting, seeing what I, I was doing. It's not as if they were coming to come and take my kids away from me. These people saw that I was strongly. How do you expect them to take your kids from me when you are strongly? Except... You are doing something that is not right or they feel that you are mentally disturbed you cannot look after your newborn baby that is the only time they will take your kids away from you you know they made a lot a mention of a lot of things which i'll drop the video at the end point i don't want to drop it now i'll put the video attach it at the end point of this very video close to the ending so another thing i want to talk about here is that Mm, they talked about something that when your child go to school that the teachers will be asking them questions especially when they are black that uh, you know this our black skin they see our children they will be asking them are your parents quarreling in the house are they fighting are they see let me tell you we all have kids yeah we've been in this country for a very long time so those of us that are coming in recently please please let's stop this Yes, let's stop this because depends, depending on what you tell people out there, especially our people, the ones that are yet to arrive to the UK, they will come with this notion of, oh, if I get to the UK, my kids will be taken away from me. It is not always like that. You, they talked about asking our kids, especially the black kids in school, are your parents quarreling? Are they fighting? Before a teacher will ask your child, whether or not they are comfortable in their home, whether or not there is domestic violence, or whether or not there is trouble in their home, depends on how your child behaves in school. If your child is always happy, and then at some, some point they saw that your child is becoming, you know, withdrawn, your child is not open as he used to be, your child is not playful as they used, as they used to play, all teachers will want to know why that child is like that. Why is this boy or this girl no longer associating with his or her pairs? Why is he no longer doing well in his academics? Why is he always kind of sad? You know, when they see these things in your child, they will definitely ask, what is going on in your ass? Yeah? We have kids, yeah? Me, I've not had any experience of, oh, are your parents fighting in the house? Are your this? Where my, my kids are still young. Well, even at that, even at that, let's tell ourselves the truth. I've not had experience of, are your parents fighting in the house? Are your this? So sometimes some of these things we, we talk here, we say on social media we should be careful. Because they said uh, the major reason why the... UK social welfare services are, you know, um, are collecting the children of Africans, or rather, why Africans, African parents in the UK are losing their children to UK social welfare services is because they are Africans, is because of their skin color. That is not true. You guys know how we treat our children back home. So if you come to UK, and then you want to still treat them that way. It's regarded as an abuse in the UK. So nobody is going to take that from you. Whether or not you are the one who gave birth to the child, they will definitely take that child from you. If they feel the safety of that child in your house is being threatened, that child will be taken from you. So the fact that you say that, oh, because we are Africans, because we are black, that's why it is not true. Even the English people, the white people, if they are not looking after their children very well, if the child's safety is being threatened in the house, definitely the UK Social Welfare Services will come for that child and they will take the child away from them. And they do not just come and take your child away from you at one spot, no. They will, you know, they will investigate. They take time to investigate. They will investigate. And if they see that you are not worthy of that child, they will take the child for the own benefit and safety, good of that child. I will leave the clip of the videos now so that you guys will watch. Let me know what you think. 
down below in the comment section. I'll see you guys in my next one. I remain Lady J. Have a wonderful day. Bye. You understand? So you've answered part of it, and that is how can we sensitize our children? Because the most important thing is they need to be informed. You understand? If they are informed and they are empowered, they cannot, we are going to overpower them. That's the simple thing. Then another thing I want to tell us, because I came back here and I noticed something. They always ask questions. Those questions they are asking, it's not out of care, it is out of probing. So before you, there is a proverb that they say, use your tongue to count your teeth. Before, they, before you answer, think. And they ask you those questions in diverse ways to be sure that you're consistent with your answer. You can imagine someone asking me, um, are you stressed? Is training your child stressful? I just, my, my child is two months old. And they keep asking me, are you stressed? Is training your child stressful? Do you need a lot? Yeah, they call and start asking me questions about my husband. I hope uh -huh. it's my husband. Is my husband uh, is, is my husband supportive? Are you sure? Does my husband beat me? I should I should I should open up that if I have any mental issue I should talk. Do I need help? In the hospital they ask me the question. Help me stop a friend of mine came in the help for the health visitor, someone said something. I know you just put to bed. Your house cannot really be that clean, but we we'll still inspect. Did you hear this person? Say that again, man. I know you just put to bed, and your house will really be that clean. We know, we understand. It's not true. They are taking notes. Yeah. If there's a little debt in your house, if something is not functioning, they take notes. So whenever they ask you something, be very careful. Either you smile. Or you do as if you don't understand what you're saying. You have the right to keep quiet. You hear me? You have the right to keep quiet. It is not every question that you must answer. Even your exam says attempt. You didn't hear me. Your exam says what? Attempt. That's a witness. Thank you. I will give you my phone to tell us that. So, it is not every question that is answer. So, why must you answer all? The greatest response I've ever seen, even in my Bible, is silence. Come on stage. When we moved in, the first thing they, they set their eyes on my son and decided to say my son was being, was, um, being reactive, hitting children in the class. You know, and that boy was being bullied, you know, and that was the easiest way because each time you report, the, the other children lie and say, stop. So, when they saw that, we, we scaled through that, and then when they saw that they couldn't get my son, they went to my uh, daughter's class, she's here, and they started to say, if something happens at home, you have a number, you know, would you tell? So, I think they, they asked them to raise up their hand. And my daughter didn't. So she said, oh, why are you not raising up? She said, because anything that happens in my house is my business. And it's not one. And I just want to encourage every child here. No one can love you like your mama and your dad. No one, no one. If they tell you, they give you gifts, they tell you to come, they're going to sort you out, they would not sort you out. I, can, I know of children who are in the social care who used to be very plumpy and big and now they are very lean because they don't take care of them. So no one can ever love you like your mama and your dad, okay? Thank you very much. So friends, one of the solutions is this. 